good guys? AC Guy D Names and welcome back. I know it's been a minute since I made a video, almost two months. I was going through my Google Photos the other day and you know Google Photos pretty much saves every photo you've ever taken on your phone. And I got to years 2016 to like early 2017. That's when I was in my sophomore year at Wells College and that's when I started cutting more people than I was my freshman year. And I was looking at some of those photos of haircuts and I was like, whoa, I thought them haircuts was fire back in the day. And <laughs> them haircuts was actually really bad. To my eye, I was kind of messing people up, but you know, they was rocking with me. Thank you to my friends that let me experiment on y'all hair. It paid off once I, once I became a junior and senior. Um, but I thought it'd be dope if I shared with you guys some of these photos, since I didn't have a YouTube channel back then, you know, show you some of these photos and hopefully inspire some of you new barbers out there, you know, give you guys some motivation to get better because there's always room for improvement. And if you're new to a craft, you may think you're like really good at it, but like once you get more experience, you'll see how inexperienced you were back then. So it should be an interesting video. And I'm kind of nervous to show you guys this because they bad, but F it. But to the photos, so this first photo, where's that? This is when I thought I was popping. I was like, yo, I'm getting clients, I'm getting bread, I'm getting paid for this. Um, and this first photo was a, um, whatchamacallit, a collage of four of the dopest haircuts I thought I had at the time. And they are horrendous. <laughs> I'm gonna put them on the screen for y'all to see. Um, Let's start with the top left. That's my boy, Brandon. He does a lot of um, artwork and stuff. I'll like, put some of that in my description. But the top left, bro, this fade is terrible. Like, it looks okay, but once we get up to the curls in the, you know, in the top region, it's like, it's blended, 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 and boom. <laughs> like, why does, why does it look like that? It looks terrible. The lineup from this angle, it looks all right, but yo, this is a terrible haircut. And then when you get to the back of the head, why is it so dark? Like, did I just stop cutting the hair? This was really bad. And shout out to my girl's roommate. Uh, at the time, she had a foreign exchange roommate. She was from China, and I had no space in my room, the, in my dorm room, to cut anybody's hair. I had one window, there was barely any light. It was so small, so I would grab a chair, from the residence hall, put it right in a room and I would cut in my girl's room. And her roommate would be there talking Chinese to her boyfriend and she was all cool with it. So shout out to you, you know who you are if you're watching. But yeah, that haircut was terrible. Then we move on to, you've seen him before, you've seen both of them, but you've seen this guy as well, his name is Bentley. Um, I've been cutting his hair for a minute. He was actually my first client my, my freshman year. And I was nervous as hell when he hit me up through Snapchat when I had it like, yo, bro, can you cut me? And I was like, oh. So he was actually my first client. I'll see if I could find the video to when I first did it. Okay. But, I mean, it's not terrible, but this could be a lot better. Like, this is supposed to be a taper fade. So, you know, it goes up to the temple. And then once we get to the back area, it's supposed to be faded out. <sighs> I mean... Again, it's not terrible, but it's just, to me, it's not blended that good. Similar to Brandon Terica on the left. It's like, it's blended, blended, and then once you get to the top, it's just dark, and there's no gradiency in the cut. And it don't look that, <laughs> honestly, it don't look that good. Like, there's a portion in the fade um, that's just not blended when the, where the other portions are, so. I don't look that good, man. And I really thought I was popping. Like, I was the only dorm room barber on campus, so everybody had to come to me. Um, but moments like those forced me, you know, because I was nervous and I actually wanted to decline some of my clients because I'm like, yo, I don't know if I could perform a certain haircut. So, oh, the sunlight coming through. <laughs> but moments like those prepared me to, like, not get nervous. You know, you learn as you go. You gotta make mistakes, it's part of, it's part of success. Um, and then down to the bottom right, my boy Dakari, bro, why you let me do this to you? <laughs> Completely butchered this fade. First of all, the lineup, 
it's not even sharp. It's a curve. If you know, if if you doing this kind of lineups to people, just stop. I wish someone told me this <laughs> back when I was cutting hair. I wish I had some type of guidance, but if you're doing that to somebody's line, it means your liners aren't hitting. And just stop, bro. So the lineup is messed up, and then the fade. What the hell? I can't even call this a fade. It's butchered. Like, the side is just butchered. And there's a light spot in the head. Like, I just took the guard off and just shaved the little hole, like, shaved the little circle in his head. Like, I don't know what is going on with this haircut right now. And I'm telling you, at the time, I really thought I was big homie. I really thought I was popping with this. Like, <laughs> if I could talk to my sophomore self now, I'd have slapped myself. Like, what are you doing? why you did that to him uh and then shout out to my boy malik uh he was the class ahead of me so um he was a he's a good friend of mine but i think this looks better <laughs> than the other three but this is still bad like i'm suffering from the same kind of mistakes where i do an okay job creating the fade but then once we get up to a high portion of his hair it just goes light to dark with no gradiency. Yo, this light is really goddamn uh, <laughs> with no gradiency. So this could have been so much better if I just continued to fade um, in those curls, um, if I blended it in. So I'm suffering from the same kind of mistake. And this haircut just, these haircuts just don't look good. So all of those haircuts was when I was a sophomore. Um, and in junior years when I really started to get it popping. Um, but before I get to junior year, y'all gotta see this one. This is bad. I'm a, I'm a flash on the screen. Yo, David. What is this? Like, why would you do that? Yo, I dead just, it looked like I really just took the clipper with no guard on it and then put a zero guard and then just left the haircut. Like, I just left him mid haircut. Like, yo, this is bad. And I actually got paid money for this. They, they, how the quote says, you, you pay for what you get, or you get what you pay for. I was charging $10 at the time, and that looked like a $10 haircut. <laughs> like, this shit is bad. Like, there's no blending, there is no gradiency, and I don't know what the hell I was thinking. This is my boy, AR. If this video ever finds you, I'm sorry, bro. I did not mean to do you like that. <laughs> but, yo, it's like, you know when you go through your class, your class book, like your yearbook, and you're older now, and you see what you used to look like, like, yo, making, like looking at your past photos, like, makes you uncomfortable. Like, y'all was really out here looking like that. This is the same feeling. Like, I really have people sitting in my chair, cutting them for like 50 minutes, and I had them leaving my chair, probably looking worse <laughs> than what they came before in the chair, looking like, like, terrible. Man, I really gotta be thankful. I have some great friends. I really gotta be thankful for y'all. Uh, and for letting me cut y'all hair and do this to y'all. Cause, man, this is bad. Um, let's see what else I got here. I mean, when you look at the before and after, so this is the before um, and after of Malik's cut, so obviously, this shit look bad. <laughs> um, there's just naps everywhere, and he just grown out his hair, and then when you see the after, it looks a little better, so I guess the before and after gives you context, but it was still a bad haircut, and I think that's where my head was getting big. I was looking at what they looked like before, and then after, and it kind of looked better, so I was, I guess I was, um, justifying some of the mistakes like oh you know i'm new to this um and they look way better than what they came in looking like but that justification like didn't help propel me until i realized like it wasn't until i seen like a few barber videos and i'm like yo i'm looking at what i think is fire to what they think is fire or what they say is fire and it was like <laughs> my flame was a lot lower than theirs and that's what got me like, you know what, I need to take this serious, even though I don't have a license, even though I'm kind of doing this as a side hustle, because I started cutting my hair first. At the 
end of the day, these people are coming to me and they trust me to transform their hair. So that's when I started to take the craft a lot more serious. Like, you know what? I need to invest more hours watching YouTube videos and more hours practicing. Um, so the people don't end up looking like <laughs> how I was doing them in the past. This is why I don't do designs. Uh, she was a class before me and this video ever finds you. I'm very sorry I did this to you. Uh, after I did this, I already knew like, yo, Dave, you ain't doing no more designs. That's out of the question. You gotta know your strengths and weaknesses. But, um, so I told you that was my sophomore year, right? And then heading into my junior year in the summertime, my friend Brandon hit me up and he wanted a, a haircut. So I told him, because obviously I'm home now, I'm not at school because it's summertime, so I told him to come to my crib. And after this haircut, this is when I knew my game was getting good. Like, this is when I knew that, that next level, I was taking that next step. I cut Brandon's hair, and it ended up looking like this. So you compare this haircut in the summer of 2017 to this haircut, in 2016, bro, night and day difference. That after this haircut, I remember when I posted it, and I got mad likes on it. It's deleted now because I had to revamp my Instagram page, but I got so many likes on it. It got shared around, and yo, this pic, this haircut, I'm telling you, it just solidified like my place and my growth. Uh, Cause this is oh my battery dead. Hold on, it's dying. Hold up. I had to change the battery before I died. This sunlight is really getting bright. But again, after this haircut, I knew my barbering game was going to another level. I was so hyped after this. Like you can tell, like this is a, this I call this the fuckboy haircut like everybody else. You can see like some of the inconsistencies I had in terms of blending and fading, those are now more fixed. Like look at the back area, look at the side area, look at the lineup. Look how it's blended into the curls. So, hold on, this sunlight is getting me crazy. Um, so you can see like my progression as a barber and taking this art seriously really showed in some of these before and after pictures. What else? I don't got that many haircuts saved in here. Uh, well, that same kid, Dakari, where I butchered his haircut. Gotta show that before and after clip. Like, look at him now. Like, this is a completely different haircut. Um, and I remember feeling so confident about this haircut. Um, it's to this is my boy his name is Kevin um, and I remember like obviously I don't mean this in a negative way but at that time I was cutting a specific kind of hair texture I was very afraid to cut um, somebody who was like of a different ethnicity maybe a, a Asian or a white person because they didn't have like curly hair like the hair was very fine um, very soft and very straight and I remember feeling very nervous when I got his hit up, like, yo, I want a haircut. And this, again, is my junior year. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let being afraid and let fear drive me. You feel me? I'm going to just do this. If it comes out good, great. If it doesn't, I'll learn from it. I didn't let fear hold me back from growth, which is, I think, something a lot of people tend to do. Um, so I remember like, this haircut to me was so fire just based on the fact that I challenged my fears, you feel me? So, I don't know. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you're new to my channel, subscribe to the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, make sure you like the video, share it, come back, watch some of my old stuff, and I promise, 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 I'm not gonna do another two, three month hiatus, even though I had a really good excuse. I was in college, and I'm a graduate now. So, hope you guys liked the video. Follow me on social media, at ddames on both Twitter and Instagram. Most on Instagram know I feel like Twitter is just for me, so follow me there and I'll be giving you guys the next one soon. Dukes, stay blessed.